during the event in the House of Fred after Jenny and Christian were captured by Michael. Inside a cave under the house, Jenny woke up and standing near her is Michael. After she knows who he is, Michael is her father for what's left of him. Back in the last night, he lost half of his mind in his brain, in which he only thinks about killing, anger, and chaos. If we change the scene and change the characters, Michael decided not to kill his daughter ever since he used to do it back in 1983. He was thinking in his mind on what if he would have his daughter join him, like father like daughter. He knew he in his strength on what this true form he is now. He had some connection to his children before. He tells her that there is a chance for her to live and having Christian alive if she would join him. He and Jenny will start a new beginning and create an army to rule a city. He held up his one mechanic hand towards Jenny and waiting for a response. Jenny was thinking about it if she had no choice. She wants Christian alive. He was the only person she had a family. But even Michael is her father. If she joins him, Christian will still be alive. And but now, make an army and rule the world. If Jenny is much like him, that runs in a family. She then raises her hand and grabs Michael's mechanic hand and accepts it. Michael just smiles and took her away from Christian into a new room which Jenny didn't notice. The room is filled with experiments. It's like a lab. Michael explained that he works very hard on creating life. He brought her to a looking bathtub that fills with blood. She knows there's a body in it. Jenny was still looking at it for a moment while Michael just walks away and grabs something. He shows her a necklace that shows a red crystal. He lies to her that this necklace belonged to his dead wife. Jenny wears it and then feels the effect and fell to the ground coughing like she's dying necklace somehow form is stuck into her neck. She tries to take it off, but it doesn't work. Her veins turn red and spread around the, her body. Michael laughs with joy. Jenny's eyes are now red. Moments later, she gets up and smiles back. She then grabs Michael's head and rips it off, blood blurting around, and the body fell to the ground. She then drops the head while the look on Michael's face is shocked. His last moments are why she betrayed him. Did something go wrong? But now Jenny took an axe and walked back to the same room where Christian is. He noticed her look and he was frightened about what happened to her. She somehow laughs and raises the axe. She swings it right at Christian's head. The head split it apart, bleeding. She then walks out of the house, took gasoline out of the shed, pours around the house, and set it on fire. Hours later, the fire grew larger and larger, and the firefighters arrived in time and put it down. Police officers are exploring around the place and found nothing. No survivors, just nothing. Jenny was sneaking around the vehicles and killed the officers first, and killed the firefighters last. What she would do? Is this Jenny? Is her soul somehow trapped? And this evil Jenny will forever take Michael's place? We will find out in part 2. Thank <laughs> you.